Welcome to Applied Bionomics. Today I want to talk to you about Cucumeris. Cucumeris is a mite that's been around for quite a while. It was originally developed for a use against thrips. It's very effective. It's a very effective thrip predator. It's got probably the most unique style of attack. It can actually sense the, uh, the egg hatching, uh, the thrip egg hatching inside the leaf tissue, and then they basically stand over top of, when the head, of where the head pops out. When the thrip head pops out, they just bite the head off and suck the juice out. So extremely efficient. If you can get enough cucumeris on a plant with a thrip uh, problem, you can actually completely eradicate the next generation, assuming there's not a new wave of thrips blasting in. When we're dealing with thrips, we have two sort of ways to look at it. One is on ornamental plants from a leaf damage point of view, uh, all the damage comes from the larval stages. So it's critical to get cucumeris on early and lots so that you can arrest that scraping uh, uh, action which causes uh, permanent damage to the leaf surface. When you're dealing with a plant like cucumbers, for example, the damage is caused by the adults. There's not a lot of predatory mites or even predatory bugs that can actually deal with the adults at an effective enough level to prevent damage in, in a cucumber crop. So you also have to rely on trapping, mass trapping of the adult. And that's achieved by low placed uh, either yellow or blue sticky cards uh, and adding attractants like you can buy thrip lures or you can use vanilla extract or almond extract or peppermint and uh, you can use these quite effectively and if you put enough traps down you can actually get pretty well all the adults out of the house. The original idea was with the bulk product was just sprinkled, you could put a little pile at the base of every plant. It's uh, now becoming a very popular thing again in uh, for hanging baskets. It's a very economical way to put a tablespoon in the middle of a hanging basket and it'll continuously generate cucumeris for at least the next six weeks because the wicking of the moisture up into the bran keeps the mold alive which keeps feeding the tyrophagus which is the food mite for the cucumeris. Um, a quite a few years ago a slow release bag was developed. The original idea came from a company called BCP in England and they uh, developed uh, basically a, a breeding system inside a bag and this could be hung on the cucumber plants and they would generate for about six weeks. The problem is that these bags need to be well protected. If they're in exposed sun, they don't last for six weeks. If they get wet, they don't last for six weeks. So they have to be in ideal protected uh, areas and sometimes that's very hard to do in a crop. In a cucumber crop it's not hard. In a hanging basket or a low crop it's very difficult to achieve it with these bags. But it is an option. The, um, one of the other uses of cucumeris is that it's, a, it's not a great spider mite predator but it does eat spider mite eggs and so what we found in crops like, uh, cu uh, like pepper for example is that if we put this in as a preventative for uh, thrips we also get a much better management program for the spider mites because they do eat the spider mite eggs and they will predate on some of the smaller spider mites but once the uh, webbing begins to form uh, these, all of these type of mites just uh, avoid the webbing. It's also quite an effective control for broad mite and even for cyclamen mite, although in the last few years we've uh, figured out that Phalasis is a much better product for that. So this is primarily a thrip uh, product and it can be sprinkled on top of your plants to protect the foliage. It can be hung in the plants or in baskets to give you a continuous release and it uh, doesn't interfere with any of the other bios. One of the other products that's available for thrip control is Schwersky, and it is a great product, especially if you're in a high heat situation. But the problem that Schwersky has is that it likes Persimilis eggs, and it loves Aphidolides eggs. So when you're using Schwersky as an alternative to Cucumeris, you can't use Aphidolides as an aphid prevention program. So you need to consider that as well. This product is a good all-around product, and uh, it might not be quite as good as Schwersky, but it's, uh, but it's considerably less money so you can put twice as much of this in and get the same results at a still lower cost.